painful. If you're looking for a refill, you came to the right place, baby. All right, enemy ditto time. Woo! Yes, time for another Pokemon list. Yes, that's right. We're doing another Pokemon list because Zizuga requested it, and you all hate us for it. <laughs> Today we are doing the first of five. Count them five. Top five lists because Kyle requested it. The <laughs> the top five worst Pokemon from Generation 5. Gen 5 is easily, in my opinion, the worst gen when it comes to Pokemon designs. I don't no. think you're the only one that thinks that. Yeah, yeah I think it's pretty widespread, Matt. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's pretty crappy in terms of design. Some of them have grown on me a lot. There are some really great ones, but a lot of them are pretty crappy. So me... <laughs> Josh, Kyle, and Don have all come to a consensus and have picked the five very worst from the gen. And we are going to start with number five. Take it away, Kyle. Number five! Okay. Do, 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 do. Number five, our pick for the worst Pokemon is actually a tie because they, they go together. It's Sock and Throw. I mean, what can we say about it? It should be fairly obvious. They have clothes. I mean, do Pokemon in other gens have clothes? Admittedly, yes. they do. Hitmonchan does. But at least they try and disguise it. Or, yeah, it looks you know, like it's a part of them. Ha hand wave it a little bit. But these guys are clearly wearing geese. There's, there's no way around it. And I'm sorry, but even if you know, sock and throw is, you know, part of their like Japanese names. It's like their their names are basically punch and strike in Japanese too, right? Yeah, something, I think like, something that. like that. I think so. There's also they're equally terrible in Japan. It's so you prefer them foolish. to be naked. Basically, <laughs> they, they would be better Pokemon if they were naked. Well, Pokemon well, hey, Pokemon you shouldn't agree wear on clothes. This. Pokemon shouldn't wear clothes. Was, Jinx wears clothes though. Jinx kind of wears clothes. But that's that's exactly our point. That's probably for the better. Yeah, we might not want to see Jinx's Ooh, icicles. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Anyway, did you, you want to see Chuck and Throw's dongs? No. <laughs> well, why, they could wear something like Machamp I mean, wears like a thingy on their thing. A belt or they could underpants? just design them so that they don't have them. <laughs> you don't see any other Pokemons. Well... Bert and Ernie wear clothes. <laughs> Damn it, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, it's nice to see Pokemon designed after two childhood favorites, Bert and Ernie. Oh boy, regardless of what these two morons are saying. <laughs> so I, think, so I, can, I think Sock and Throw does not deserve <laughs> to be on the list. <laughs> Sock and Throw are terrible, and Dawn's Why a Why are you agreeing to this now? And Dawn's a, tr <laughs> and Dawn's a troll. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just playing. They're terrible. <laughs> moving yeah. moving on to number four. Number four! Who wants it? BEM and LGM. I guess Josh will take it away. Yeah, I'll take it away. These two are supposed to be aliens, I guess, even though they look like they're made out of stone or something. Uh, their names are, like, based off of old sayings, like, uh... BEM is like bug eyed men and LGM is little, little green, green men. men. Right. Little green men and bug eyed monster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bug eyed monster. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. They look weird. <laughs> they look stupid. They're terrible. Like, their heads are ginormous. I didn't know they had eyeballs until the freaking 3DS app. Their hands are like multicolored weirdness. They're. They're just, they're so forgettable, too. Like, when this gen first, like, announced all the Pokemon, I completely forgot they existed until I went back through them. They're, they're terrible designs. They're terrible Pokemon. Nobody should use them. <laughs> like, e even in terms of being useful, BHM only has one stat worth a damn. Also, LGM is, like, wearing a an overcoat or something, it looks like. I don't think he's wearing anything. Well, it appears. No, he's got to like, a, like an He's overcoat. got like a tail. The point is, they're terrible. 
Well, yeah, the point is, we didn't need aliens in my Pokemon lore. I mean, yeah, sure, Clefairy is rumored to have been from the moon, but... And Deoxys is... awful. The, the DNA Pokemon, he's not an alien. Oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah God. Get he's me. seen as an alien, whatever! Facts, Who cares, man. guys? How is he an alien? I don't see how he's an alien. Yeah, because he has tentacles? Yeah. And take that shit to Japan. They were it's created in Japan. Japan. You can't see it, but I'm face palming. <laughs> we don't need aliens on our Indiana Jones. Wait, what are, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Well, I don't, I don't think uh, aliens were too out of place in Indiana Jones. Yeah. Moving on. They're ridiculous in Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, number three. <laughs> number three. Who wants it? Um. The poop I'll, poop. I'll take it if no one else will. Yeah. Go for it, Kyle. You can take it. Because you, you were the one who was very adamant about this one. Even though we all hate it. Okay, number three. I think it should be higher on the list, but it's a consensus list, so I'm not going to complain. Stun Fisk. <laughs> Ooh, I can't say enough about Stun Fisk. Stun Fisk is the most mismatched Almagam of all the Pokemon elements you could possibly put together. Okay, so he's a fish. I don't have a problem with that. He has electric powers. No problem with that. He's a flounder, so he has ground powers. Wait, that's awesome. That's three things. This is Pokemon. You can't do that. So now you have this... So immediately, as soon as you try to add a third element into a Pokemon, something has to go. And what did they pick to go? They picked the water element. So you've created this Pokemon that lives in the water and yet its functionality in the game provides it with a weakness to that. I'm sorry, no amount of logic or retconning could possibly explain how horrible this thing is. Well, not to mention it looks like a piece of crap. <laughs> the, my biggest problem with freaking Stunfisk is the fact that Ground Electric is like the best typing ever. There's no weakness at all, and yet they wasted it on this useless hideous, ugly Pokemon that, like Kyle said, makes no sense. What? No weakness at all. It's weak to grass, gra uh, grass, water, ice. I just named three without even thinking. Oh. You're thinking of uh, the eel. Oh, I am thinking of the eel. Oh, hold yeah. Levitate. Oh, the anyway. Awesome. Yeah, so, Matt, <laughs> that's... I don't know Stunfisk what's wrong with is you. the one that looks like you uh, stepped on it. Yes, I know yeah. who Stunfisk is. I messed up. My bad. But I like anyway. the ground electric typing anyway. Yeah, it's a it's a good typing, but um, what is it? It's a fish. It should have been a water type, and you know what? It would be a great water electric type. Well, to, I, I wouldn't say great, but it would be better. Well, it would fit better than what it is. Yeah, the I always like typings that are the weakness of that typing that are they go together like ground electric. You know, ground or electric oh. is weak to ground. And that's that's cool, but Stunfisk is a waste of Pokemon, and I hate him with. <laughs> it's a waste of Pokemon, <laughs> and I hate him with all my being. So. It knows how awful it is. It laughs at you in the game. Yeah, it does have a little cheeky smirk. Yeah, that the cheeky smirk. <laughs> it's terrible. Anyway, moving on. I groaned in horror when I found out that the character in the anime actually caught one. I was like, why? Why? Because they hate you. They want this Pokemon to be on all the merchandise. Stunfisk toys coming to a store near you. Get them before they're gone. All right. Who wants number two? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll yeah. take. All right. You go. All right. Diego, Matt. you do it. And you can go. No. Do you want number? Go, one? Diego. Do you, go. Do you want no, number? Matt. Matt. I, want to, I, I say Matt want to because say. Matt is the one who wants this one up here. All right. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, okay. I, oh, I you think want we it? All space. don't want this at all. But good, continue. Number two. Our number two is Gothitelle, the pancake stack Pokemon. Gothitelle. <laughs> Never mind. I'll explain that later. Gothitelle <laughs> is one of the worst Pokemon I have ever seen in my entire life. Sorry, Zerb. We know you like yeah. her. I know. I was about to say that. You know. That's sorry. why I want to take it. I wanted to say sorry to Zerb. Well, I said it anyway. So whatever. But Gothitelle. 
is horrible. Okay, there are a few things wrong with Goth Tail. First of all, its design is awful. It's got this weird pancake-shaped dress with these pancakes coming out of its head. Ears, it's it's so weird, not to mention it's supposed to be a goth, and goths aren't cool. Sorry, kids. Goths are not cool. Don't believe what Tim Burton is telling you. Goths are not cool. Just like we don't need pieces of crap in our Pokemon games, we don't need aliens in our Pokemon games. We don't need goths in our Pokemon games. But the thing that drives me crazy well, about that God- argument, you can say you don't want Gangoro girls in your Pokemon games, and I, then yeah, you, you have Jinx. Well, <laughs> that's, that's, a th- that's a topic for a different day. But <laughs> anyway, the thing that I think drives me the craziest the most about Gothitelle is that she's a psychic type. It does not make sense. <laughs> but she's all black. She should be a dark type. She confuses me. Every time I try to fight it in the game, I would always try to use something that would be weak to it if it was a dark type, but I end up not doing anything to it because it's a freaking psychic type. I get so flustered and confused, and the stupid song that they made doesn't help either. Gothitelle is black and dark. No, she's not. She's black and psychic. Shut the hell up, President <laughs> of the United States of America. You are wrong. You are wrong. I've hated this Pokemon from the minute I saw her, and uh, I'm sorry for all you two Gothitelle fans out there, but... <laughs> hey, you know, they should have made it Psychic Dark. It's a, that would be yeah, a unique yeah. type. N- exactly. And it would have yes. made its counterpart not... It's like, yeah, this this gen has too many Psychic types. Oh, well, yeah. Well, it's like they made Re- Reunuclus, which is awesome. Reunuclus. Reunuclus, whatever. And like... Reunuclus. <laughs> Shut up! Like, stop, stop! Like reunite and homunculus. I right. I hate you. Homunculus. Okay, the thing that looks like an experiment from the Lilo and Stitch show. Okay, <laughs> that one. Um, they're supposed to be like foils to each other, I guess. But it would have made more sense if Gothitelle was dark type. But whatever. Who cares? Gothitelle sucks. Anybody else want to say anything about how much Gothitelle sucks? She's awful. Thanks, Josh. We appreciate your input. Why does she have bows all over herself if she's a goth? I don't get it. Because bows are cool. She has bows all over herself <laughs> and she sucks. You guys. Because <laughs> it's, it's more of a it's more gothic Lolita. Yeah. Oh, it's I guess. Supposed to be like a Lolita. Not like not like American goth. Goth that you'd probably more find anywhere that's not America. Yeah. Our version of goth is not the same as everybody else's version of goth. Yeah, our <laughs> Our right, vampires okay. are different. <laughs> yeah, they shine and sparkle and all that geek crap. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crappy Pokemon. Crappy design. Crappy everything. But now it's time for number one. Hooray! Wait, I have one last thing to say. Sorry about this. I what always thought she would be a Jinx evolution. Really? Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I thought that. Because I guess pink skin. Well, I'm glad you added anyway. that because now I just think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Only one left. Let's move on to number one. Number one! Don, we'll, we'll, we'll let you say it since you haven't done anything yet. Yeah. I personally... <laughs> like our <laughs> You can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> and by extension, is a terrible Trump-ish. Pokemon. Like, honestly... Why... Well, Trubbish is actually cute. Let yeah, I love yes, Trubbish. By yeah, extension. That's... Talk. Yeah, Chubbish is super cute. I love Chubbish. Like it's a little garbage no, Pokemon, <laughs> tiny. But that's where it's, that's where it should have ended. It doesn't. It didn't need to like explode out of the plastic <laughs> bag that it is. With filth and vomit. <laughs> yeah, vomit. And whatever the fuck it is, else is in there. PCP little, needles yeah. coming out of its fingers. <laughs> right. Blue and red m and <laughs> Garboder is gross, dude. He's so nasty. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Okay, like, Muck... Okay, Muck's pretty gross, but at least he's purple. So he right. doesn't... He doesn't accurately represent something that would be gross. Like, the concept is gross, but the way he looks is not so gross. Garboder, on the other hand, they went all out. They were all like, okay, this guy is an exploded garbage can. Let's make him look like an exploded garbage bag. He's... Nasty, a nasty, nasty, nasty Pokemon, and I don't understand. Somebody got fired that day. That's all I. That's all I think. <laughs> I, I what was you saying time earlier? Time. We don't need crap in our Pokemon games. <laughs> yeah, we definitely <laughs> don't need crap in our Pokemon. Well, I think that's the thing. It's like we were made this whole list to look at which Pokemon had the crappiest designs, and I'm sorry, it doesn't get any crappier than crap. <laughs> yeah. I should have left this at the curb. Yeah, oh, exactly. Air five, Don. 
that was good. <laughs> Why didn't Trubbish like evolve into like a trash can trash or something? Can, like, like, Oscar the Grouch or something. Be a poison steel type. Go on that uh, thing that it's weak to. Yeah, exactly. Stuff that you're on. It definitely would have been cool. better than this piece of shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, Carboder's terrible. It's probably my least favorite Pokemon. Okay, second least favorite Pokemon ever. We'll get to that later. <laughs> but yeah, that's our number one. There's plenty of others we could have included. I personally hate Kraganol a lot. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. These are some honorable mentions. Uh, yeah, Samurats. <laughs> Only because he, uh, you know, he doesn't no look like anything. Lights. Yeah, anything and like his uh, second evolution. His second evolution right. is so cool, and then he's it's just so like, badass. and then they're just like, nah. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, fuck it, we give up. Anyway, Stoutland. Stout Stoutland's horrible. It's like, here's these he's two not... cute puppy Pokemon and a walrus. He's not as loyal as Herdier. <laughs> there's there's always, of course, we can berate them for teasing us with a Love Disc Evolution and making it not Talamamala. <laughs> God, yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, Talamamala is actually a great Pokemon design. It would be even better if Love Disc evolved into it. Yeah. We all thought, we were all like, "Ooh, we're so confident this is a love disc evolution." And we were one hundred percent confident. They were just like, "Fuck you, no, it's not." Yeah. They saw our video and they're like, "Fuck it, we're not doing evolutions this time." Because you know, Nintendo watches our videos. No, they don't. Yeah, yeah, they do, man. Yeah, they do. Uh, there's <clears> plenty of others. I don't like the genies, but that's no, fuck the genies. That's 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 for a different. I don't want recolors in my Pokemon games. And I'm not a fan of clean playing myself, mostly just because it's lazy sprite work. Yeah, it's just another one of those things that turns into a bigger version of that thing. Like, even though Magnemite is my favorite Pokemon ever, Magneton is totally lazy, and Dugtrio <laughs> is also totally lazy. Clank and Klinglang are also We're totally getting lazy. getting ahead of yourself there, Matt. And, Kling yeah. and Klinglang is a terrible name. Ugh. Yeah, it is. Anyway... We're at about 17 minutes. I think we should call yep. this one off. Good night, everybody. Yeah, feel free to leave us hate comics. Hate comics? Comics! Yeah, feel free comics. to leave us hate comics. We would love hate comics. Cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> all, I demand all hate comments be in the form of Sprite Comics. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, feel free to disagree with us. We made this for you guys to hate us. Talk to you later. Adam and Dill viewers. That's it.